Now, from the University of Okaboji, it's Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff Thee. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. I'm Jeff Thee, coming to you from historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park. We're happy to have back with us today Katie Carey, the uh, County Director of Population and Public Health. Welcome. Thank you for coming in here this morning. Thanks for having me, Jeff. We have got a, uh, you've got a uh, program coming up here on the 13th of, uh, well, we're almost February, I was going to say next month. Next month is like another day. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but on the 13th of February, and Katie, it's called a parent panel. What exactly, what is it and what's the purpose of it? Absolutely. So the Dickinson County Behavioral Health Coalition and Rotary went together to really bring um, five local subject matter experts together to share some of those frequently asked questions, those answers that many parents may have about behavioral health, what to look for, how to have healthy conversations about mental health with your kids. Um, and so we're making a space for that. Well, it, it's such a big concern. It is. And, and not just with kids, obviously, adults too, but you know, you got to start somewhere and, and maybe touch them, help them when they're young, mm -hmm. before they get out into the world and snap. And parents, let's face it, a lot of times you're going to find this out yeah. in just a short amount of time. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, you, you don't get a, a manual of how to work it. You go with your gut and sometimes you just, what do I do? How, how can I help my child go through some of these things? Absolutely. It can be really overwhelming to navigate what resources, re, what resources are available, what resources do I need. Yeah. Um, so that is kind of that starting point for, for people. Exactly. What am I looking for? What signs am I looking for? Right. You know, all questions that parents certainly have. So the parent panel comes up here on the, the 13th mm -hmm. and find out a little bit more about how that's going to work. Absolutely. So Tuesday, February 13th, and we'll be at the Pearson Lakes Art Center. It's a completely free event. So um, we would ask you to RSVP online. Uh, whether it be at Let's Talk Dickinson um, or we have many QR codes that are available through it's gone through the schools yeah. and um, it's on posters around town so please take advantage of that so we'd love it if you RSVP because we will have a free meal and if you choose to bring your family along we'll have free child care as well for elementary school age and under okay and how about the the questions that parents have how are they going to be addressed? Absolutely. So if you uh, choose to do that RSVP, you also get an opportunity to put in a question. So um, that burning question you may have that you maybe didn't want to ask in person, yeah. you can put in anonymously. And if you choose to put in your name, you actually can be eligible to be in a raffle for a, a prize. So Oh, so, nice. Yeah. And we're also getting a lot of questions from guidance counselors as well. So the whole idea, the whole premise of this panel came from our members, which um, a big presence in our panel, or excuse me, in our coalition is school, yeah. school members. So we have a lot of counselors and uh, administrators that said, this is what parents are looking for. So yeah. we, we really hope to see you there. Well, and, you know, counselors, teachers... Mm -hmm. Often see signs. Sometimes kids put on a pretty good show when they're at home. You see things, but sometimes when they're interacting with other students or whatever it is, teachers, counselors see signs. Right. And have this opportunity to, you know, here's some things out there, folks, and here's some ways to deal with it. We're, we want to work with you. We want to help you. And when those parents and the schools can work together, chances of success are much greater, I think. Absolutely. So we really valued that feedback that we got from the schools, and we're excited to have those five panelists with us. So we'll have a variety there. Beth Will from Community Resources with the Dickinson County Courthouse yeah. and Sioux Rivers Region. And then we have Michelle Vore from Flow State, so what it looks like going into the ER, if right. you ever had to experience that. Um, we have Lynn Park from University of Iowa Child Health Specialty Clinics. Then we also have Darcy Gray from Plains Area Mental Health. And we have Marta Sandoval from uh, Prairie Lakes AEA. So okay. really good mix of, of many different kinds of resources that 
you might be interested in hearing about. Yeah, and then we're going to have all in our little area in one night yeah. uh, for all those questions parents may have. Yeah. And not only experts, but a lot of experience. Mm-hmm. You know, having seen a lot of different facets, a lot of different problems, a lot of different procedures. So, uh, nice place to get answers for things that may be bothering you. Yeah. So, we, we hope to see you there um, for free meal through Burger and Company. So, hot dog, hamburger meal, and um, child care. And then uh, we hope you're there for the content. Yeah, absolutely. You've made it very convenient for people and yeah. an inviting evening. Uh, again, how people can RSVP and, and get their spot there that night. What was it? Yep. So let's talk Dickinson. If you would like to RSVP by February 2nd, so that's this Friday, okay. um, on let's talk dickinson.org. Okay. And again, we will accept walk-ins as well. So right. if, um, it's more for, for a count of food. Basically. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But everybody is welcome absolutely. that have concerns. Very good. All right, Katie, thank you so much. And for all you do, and we appreciate it a great deal. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks again to Katie Carey from Lakes Regional Healthcare. We appreciate her for her time and reach out if you're having some concerns. And thank you for watching us right here on Okaboji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast from the studios at Historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park is brought to you in part by West Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, advisor Jan Spielman, AJ Spielman, and Erica Wachholz. The headquarters of the University of Okaboji is at the Three Suns, open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 5, and Sunday from 10 to 4. Bank Midwest, dream big, plan wisely, live well. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake. B Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji. 